Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Romani. If you're not sure who I am and you've never seen any of my videos before, make sure you hit the subscribe button. My channel is geared toward business, beauty, health, and empowerment. Today we have a health video. We're going to be talking about why you are not losing weight. So if you're on a fitness journey and you just need some tips or you just want to hear me talk, then keep watching. But before we fully jump into this video, make sure you go follow me on Instagram at XO underscore Romani and go follow my fitness page my business page at glow with row fitness i am a certified personal trainer so look in the description box to see if there's anything that you need that i may offer i have meal plans workout plans waist trainers ebooks detox products virtual training personal training and the list goes on so if you're interested in any of that hit your girl up but yeah let's jump into this video so these are in no specific order but the first one is kind of the most important to me the first one is you're not drinking enough water so a lot of people don't realize how much water impacts weight loss i have all of my clients drink a gallon of water a day and that is how their weight falls off so quick like a lot of people come to me because i get quick results but they don't do anything you know crazy they don't do anything special they just start drinking more water so if you are having an issue with losing weight see how much water you're drinking because a lot of us think that we're drinking a lot of water because we have two bottles here three bottles here that's not a lot of water you should at least be drinking half of your body weight in water and i know that that sounds you know crazy for somebody who may not drink water but it's possible and you need to do it because if you can drink soda and juice and this 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 and that you can drink two liters of pop and stuff like that here and there then you can drink a gallon of water a day and then if you feel like a gallon of water a day is too much for you maybe you can start off with four bottles of water a day or something like that but try to work your way up to a gallon of water a day and I know that maybe some trainers out there are watching this and it's like that's too excessive because I do hear people say like I'm not you know making my clients drink a gallon of water that's excessive if you want to lose weight it's not excessive your body needs water and that is how the weight is going to come off of you first of all drinking a lot of water is going to help you stay full longer so you're going to start having smaller meals which is going to help you lose weight you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying drinking water is also going to help you start going to the bathroom more and I'm not talking about number one I'm talking about number two a lot of people don't understand and realize that you're supposed to be using the bathroom at least like two to three times a day I literally have clients that only use the bathroom like four times a week and I'm like if you had three meals a day for seven days that's 21 meals a week and you only used the bathroom four times that's an issue if you start drinking water then you're going to have more frequent bowel movements and a lot of people don't realize how much their body weight is just waste it's just old food sitting in their body i read somewhere last week that the average human has six to 40 pounds of waste sitting in their colon so just imagine like if you just started drinking more water and having more frequent bowel movements how much of that waste could get gone and how many pounds you could shed just from water but i don't want to keep rambling about water just make sure you drink water because that may be a reason that you are not losing weight number two you're drinking too much soda juice and alcohol now i'm not a big soda or juice drinker because when i started my weight loss journey i had to completely cut soda out because i was literally drinking it every single day after school i would literally have a mountain dew monday through friday and that's it's just not good i had hella acne on my face i kept going to dermatologists trying to figure out what was wrong and the only thing that was wrong is i was drinking too much soda not enough water so this does kind of correlate with number one but just kind of lay off of the the drinks that are not water or tea one can of pop every day for a year adds 10 pounds a year on you so just imagine like you're not even thinking about what you're drinking you know you're just drinking the pop you're drinking the juice and you're just you're getting all of these liquid calories and you're gaining weight and then you're like i'm not even eating a lot sis you're you're drinking it you're drinking all of those calories and it's putting weight on you so if you are in the middle of a weight loss journey or a fitness journey and you are having some issues 
I would say completely cut out the juice, soda, and alcohol. While I don't drink pop, or juice i do drink alcohol but i try to only have alcohol on the weekends just so i can like limit my consumption because alcohol can definitely put hella weight on you too so just really research what you're drinking because those liquid calories will sneak up on you you won't even be eating a lot of meals you'll just be drinking things here and there you'll have let's say you have a, a frappuccino you have a iced coffee you have a mountain dew you have all of that in one day and that's dang near a thousand calories so you just have to stop having those liquid calories and start replacing that with water start replacing that with just healthier drinks and then if you don't like plain water i have a video that um shows you how to diffuse your water with fruit start putting lemons and strawberries in your water so you can have like a strawberry lemonade type of thing going on but you can't just keep drinking sugary drinks because that's not going to help you lose weight at all number three you are dieting too much I always tell my clients we do not diet we are just changing our eating habits we're just finding a healthier way for you to have the things that you still want to eat let's say you like chicken maybe we won't do fried chicken anymore maybe you can have baked chicken think of it as a healthier way of life and not a diet because when you think that you are dieting you start restricting yourself from certain things you're like oh my god I can't have this I can't have that and then like you're not eating enough and then this causes you to be binge eat on the weekends a lot of people think that they can only have salads on their weight loss journey let's say you're eating salads three times a day every single day you're you're gonna get sick of salads and you're gonna be like okay well i did good this entire week it's the weekend i can you know i can eat what i want and then you just overindulge because you're trying to make up for what you didn't have during the week so now you eating junk food you eating fast food you drinking a lot you drinking pop you drinking alcohol you drinking soda you're binge eating and and then you're gaining all of that weight back so just try to have a healthy eating regimen try to have a schedule put yourself on a schedule write down all of the meals that you plan on having this week and include those cheat meals i don't really think of them as cheat meals they're just they're just meals like you you slip up sometimes so write down those meals maybe you're going to go to chick-fil-a on tuesday and maybe you're going to go to wendy's on friday but that's that's the only time that you plan on slipping up so plan your slip ups so they don't become like huge mess ups in your fitness journey so stop thinking about it as like a diet and just think of it as a healthy eating regimen so after this video i want you to go write down what you're going to have for breakfast lunch dinner and snacks for the entire week and see how much that changes your perception of what you're doing see how much that changes the the diet you know thing that you have in your mind because we don't diet at all and if you're not really sure what to eat for weight loss i do offer a weight loss meal plan and you can still have bread chicken rice blah 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 all the good stuff that we love so if you want that then just click the link in my bio i'm so used to saying click the link on my bot in my bio this is not instagram click the link in the description box to go to my website and get the meal plan number four you're not taking a look at what you're really eating and you're probably eating fake healthy food. I know a lot of my clients like to go to Smoothie King and get smoothies. They like to get the, um, what are they called? The naked smoothies from the grocery store and stuff like that. That is fake healthy food. You have to look at the calories and the sugar and the sodium and the stuff that you're having. I always tell my clients, if you don't make the smoothie, I wouldn't recommend that you have it because it's so much sugar in fast food smoothies and in like pre-made smoothies from the grocery store, it's crazy. So you're gonna be having these pre-made smoothies every single day and having so much sugar and you're like dang why am i not losing weight you're not losing weight because that wasn't healthy to begin with it's basically like you're drinking a milkshake every single day and so you're gaining weight while you're supposed to be losing weight and you don't know why cut that out so if you don't make it yourself i really wouldn't recommend having it and that's just with anything like that's with any type of food or anything i always recommend that you cook because when you cook then you know what is in your food but like let's say if you're not cooking just look at the nutrition facts on the back and mainly look at sodium sugar and calories that's like the big things that I focus on. I know like some people care about carbs and stuff like that. I'm not too 
too trippy about carbs i'm more so sugar sodium calories like what is what is all of that saying when you look at that it'll tell you if you need to have it or not like if you see very high numbers then maybe you shouldn't have that and so if you're one of those people who like the fake healthy smoothies and stuff like that look on the back of it and then really see what you're having and you can make everything that you're buying you can make it so like if you like pre-made strawberry banana smoothies then start making strawberry banana smoothies at home and you're gonna see yourself drop so much weight and you're gonna be like dang maybe i shouldn't have been having those pre-made smoothies because those was not healthy for me so yeah stop eating the fake healthy food and just really take a look at what you're eating number five you're having too many calories i don't count my calories like every single meal but that's just because i kind of have a understanding of what i need to eat for my body type and my body goals like i know that i need to have you know three meals i know that they need to have a protein a vegetable and a starch like i'm pretty good with like my portion sizes but if you're not then i do recommend that you count your calories just so you know that you're not going over a certain amount you can do that with just different apps you can go to the app store on your phone and just look for different apps that will help you count your calories i just i don't know i really couldn't be a calorie counter because it just made me crazy like when i first started my weight loss journey and i was trying to count calories and do all that it did make me crazy so if you're like me maybe you can just try to gauge it a little bit better like you know that if you have four meals that's a lot of calories so if you're used to eating four times a day like super big meals maybe let's just do three times a day like cut those calories in half not in half but cut those calories or maybe you could have two meals instead of you know four cut those calories definitely make sure you're not going over a certain amount of calories i can't really give you a specific number because everybody's calorie intake is going to be different because everybody's body type is different but you have a pretty good understanding like you know you're not supposed to go to mcdonald's three times a day and have like three number tens in in one day you know that that's too many calories so really just figure out how many calories you're supposed to have figure out what how many calories is in the food that you're already eating and then you know delegate like that number six you're not being patient with yourself and you're stepping on the scale entirely too much personally i don't own a scale i don't have a scale i go by how i look and i go by how i feel if i'm feeling sluggish i need to figure out something different what am i eating that's making me tired did i have fried food did i have fast food gauge it like that i really don't recommend scales i tell my clients weigh yourself like once a month because if you weigh yourself more than that you're going to get discouraged and it's going to mess up your mindset and it's going to mess up your fitness journey your fitness journey is supposed to be enjoyable you're not supposed to be beating yourself up every day because you didn't lose a pound and weight fluctuates so much that you just should not weigh yourself every single day or even you know every week you just shouldn't do it because the scale doesn't tell you how much water weight you have how much muscle you have how much fat you have how much fat you lost you don't know you just see a number and you're going to get to assuming so i personally recommend that you start taking progress pictures now you can take progress pictures every week you can take them every week every other week you can do stuff like that but i do not recommend stepping on the scale every single day every single week when i first started losing weight i literally had to weigh myself three times a day and i just really started being crazy i told y'all that's why i can't count calories like i was just so focused on okay i gotta get to this number i can't eat this i have to do this and it made me crazy and it made me look anorexic because i was literally only doing cardio like i looked like a freaking string bean so just stop playing yourself go based off how you look how you feel and you can even get a shirt or like some pants some some type of clothing that you own right now and then continue to try it on periodically to see like okay it's getting bigger it's getting looser i'm starting to lose weight go by how you feel and go by how you look stop going by the scale and just be patient with yourself a lot of y'all want to drop 10 pounds in a day and it's just not going to ha i mean it might happen but it just won't be that healthy but a lot of y'all want to do that and it's just it's not healthy and sometimes it's really not possible for you to drop 10 pounds you know in one day or like even one week like just 
give yourself time and stop looking at everybody else's journey just because this girl lost 20 pounds this month don't mean you gonna lose 20 pounds this month you might lose five pounds but that's okay like just focus on you be patient with yourself and just give it time you didn't gain 30 pounds in one one month so don't expect to lose 30 pounds in one month and last but not least number seven you're not exercising so you actually do not need to exercise to lose weight however it will speed up the process it's going to help you out and it's going to help you get a more toned look so let's say if you just got your eating habits together you will lose weight but you might start to have loose skin because you're not lifting weights you're not running you're not really moving your body there's not enough movement Movement. I definitely recommend that you all exercise at least four to five times a week but if you're new to this maybe you could start with two to three times a week but just start moving start moving because you don't want to have like flabby skin and different stuff like that and when you do exercise make sure you combine cardio and weightlifting I know that an issue that I just told y'all I had when I started losing weight I only did cardio cardio is those exercises like running jumping jacks just different stuff that's going to get your heart rate up I wasn't lifting weights I didn't have any dumbbells I didn't have any resistance bands I didn't have any type of weight that I was lifting it was just me and I was literally just doing jumping jacks and running all the time and I got so flabby and so skinny I had no muscle so when you do start exercising two to three times a week or four to five times a week make sure you have muscle um what make sure you have strength workouts and cardio workouts and if you need some workouts of course your girl got you click the link in the description box and buy one of my workout plans that was all for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it and i hope that it was helpful and i hope you guys took notes because this stuff is really going to help you on your fitness journey if you need me if you need help of course just always hit me up you can hit me up on instagram at glow with Row fitness just dm me i check my dms every Every single day and I respond back to every single person so if you have any fitness related questions or just anything like that you need some help on figuring out which plan um, for my website is best for you just hit me up and I will help you make sure you follow me on Instagram again and make sure you like comment subscribe and share this video share this video if you know somebody who has a fitness journey or who needs to hear this information share 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 that is all and I will see you guys in my next video